So you've assessed your plant health by watching my previous video. You've looked at the below ground portions. The next step is, let's look at the above ground portion. One of the best ways that we can do this and what we do at Winfield United is we take a tissue test. So we're a little early for a tissue test because as I said earlier, most of that plant is still surviving off of what's coming from the seed and whatever these little roots can get from the soil. But as it develops a more robust root system, the tissue test gives us a good evaluation of how we can look at that above ground portion and what the plant is actually seeing below ground or what you put out there. How is it viewing it? So a few things with the tissue test and I'm going to cover them in the in the video series ongoing is there's kind of four items to look at on the tissue test. The number one thing when you get a tissue test back is the N to K N to S ratios. This tells you your macronutrient ratios and it really gives you an idea of the responses that you might get with any of the other applications that could be made such as micronutrients in season and when those should when those should occur. The other thing that you can look at is you can look at the actual deficiencies. So which nutrient is deficient, but we always want to categorize that by elemental prominence via nutrient hierarchy. So which element is the most important for that crop at that particular time? And then lastly, find trends and comparisons within the sample. So on the Nutrisolution tissue sample, we put out what I call the radar chart or the nutrient radar chart. That's going to give you a graph or a shape that you can analyze and you can look at several different tissue samples at the same time. And if they're having similar trends and similar shapes, that might help you adjust a recommendation or see a trend in a field. So maybe there's not something you can do about it in season. Maybe you have to go back into the farm planning technique. So stay tuned for this particular video series. I'm going to talk to you more in depth about the key things that you can look at on a tissue sample and maybe not tissue samples, but general overall nutrient trends and what you can help do to adjust your fertility plan going forward for whether it's 21 crop or 2022 crop.